Hi everybody, welcome back to the Hardy Slim for channel. Today I'm going to tell you how to fix that your Samsung Galaxy A17 has the battery which is draining very very fast. So actually, uh, some users report faster battery drain after updates or some heavy use, for example, recording videos or phone calls. And uh, this phone has uh, 5000 million uh, hours, uh, so battery should last long. So at first, I do recommend to identify power hungry applications. To the so and their settings and scroll down to the battery here. Here, if you scroll a little bit down, you can see that the battery sets we have here when you're at home is because I'm displaying all day long uh, the screen of my phone, so don't worry. But here, if you have some, for example, TikTok or some Clash of Clans, Clash Royale, something like that, just uninstall this application and you'll be good to go. Uh, or if you want to keep this application, just play it less. <laughs> uh, apart from that, uh, you can uh, stay in the battery, scroll down, uh, scroll up, and here uh, find the power saving option here and turn this on here. As you can see, uh, we can manage our uh, power saving options here. We do have here performance, we can limit CPU speed to 70%. I don't really recommend to do so because your, your phone will be will be just having very very bad, bad performance but apart from that we can decrease brightness by 10 percent so the motion smoothness to standard instead of the 90 hertz on, on, as i remember uh to 60 turn on dark mode as you could see and set screen timeout to 30 seconds apart from that here we do have limit apps and home screen which is the maximum power saving but uh, do this only when you have five percent and you want to keep your phone available for one hour so that's for the battery here and the second thing i do recommend to enable the battery protection as you can see now uh, here we can reduce uh, battery aging uh, we can enable this option but if you want to have longer battery so that your battery will last longer at the time of the day disable battery protection and or just turn on here the adaptive mode or basic so what it does it actually uh, is very very good option it's because uh, actually the battery protection at maximum will limit the battery charging at 80 percent but when you have your basic or adaptive charging uh, it will not limit your uh, charging maximum so you'll use 100 percent of your battery not 80 percent so your battery will last longer here the adaptive mode will stop charging at 80 percent while you while you're asleep and switch to basic before you wake up sleep time is estimated based on your phone usage patterns so basic works like when your battery is charged to 100% charging will stop until the battery level drops down to 95% and then charging will start again it's a cool feature very very cool feature because uh, uh, it's improving our battery life actually aging and decrease the battery aging and will increase the battery decrease the battery drain so i do recommend to have these both options here or if you want to have your phone last 10 years, set it to maximum and don't worry. So apart from that, you can adjust the display settings in your phone. So go back and tap display in your settings. Here uh, we can lower the brightness level, turn on the dark mode. And apart from that, we can turn on the adaptive brightness. Adaptive brightness works with the camera here and here they have light sensor. If we cover this camera here, our brightness should drop. And as I can see, it's happening right now. But apart from the um, brightness, we can easily uh, change the screen refresh rate. 
Uh, if you might know, your I don't know, your phone does support the 90 Hz top motion smoothness. And if you are used to uh, use some uh, basic iPhones, for example, basic 16, 15, 14, etc., you have only a 60 Hz screen, turn on the standard and tap apply. Uh, standard eye, and if you are used to 60 Hz, won't feel the difference that much. And uh, But if you, of course, prefer smoothness, tap high, but I do recommend to set it to standard. Between 90 and 60, there is almost no difference, actually. So, yeah. That's how it actually works. And um, apart from that, we can turn off unused features in our phone. But I think that you did this. But apart from that, go back to the display and stop the screen timeout and set it to the 30 seconds and disable keep screen on while viewing. As for the uh, modules that you can turn off, scroll down from the top right corner to the control panel and here if you are outside you can disable Wi-Fi if you are not listening to music right now or you don't have any medical uh, things with you that uses Bluetooth disable Bluetooth if you are not the, if you are not using the location services like Google Maps or some Life 360 turn off location if you want to find your phone after that of course it will be problematic but we are focusing on the battery right now and apart from that, if you have the NFC uh, turned on, as you can see here, and you want to disable that, here we don't have this dot. We have to tap this pen icon here and tap edit here. Here in the variable buttons, search for the NFC and drag it here. What we can uh, turn off again, apart from that, let's search it. Here, for example, we can turn off the TV remote, there'll be Atmos, Finder, um, Secure Wi-Fi, Sync. If you are done, tap done, and here, again, tap done. If you extend it right now, here we have NFC. We can turn off NFC, and that's all actually for the modules we can disable. Of course, if you are using these modules, don't, dis don't disable them because it, it's then uh, it makes no sense but if you want to keep your battery less drained it should work for you apart from that I do recommend to uh, do reboots in your phone so hold the power button with the along with the volume down button I forgot that and tap restart in the settings, we have this option. I, I showed you. I showed you this option called the auto restart and auto performance. I will show you this option in a moment because uh, I think that I didn't show you this option in this video. And now uh, we can enable this option, and our phone should be rebooting uh, automatically uh, after 24 hours of usage. And uh, I think that after reboot, some bugs or some unclosed programs will be cleaned from your memory and it will make very, very such a difference. I've used uh, Samsung S25 FE, S21 FE, and this option rescued my phone actually, because it was only Snapdragon 888, a 5G version. <laughs> And now let's unlock our phone. On this phone, it will work all day, all, of course, this time, because I use this phone very, very much, this Samsung Galaxy A17. Now let's go to settings. Of course, we have to wait a moment until they turn on. Turn on. Now let's scroll to the device car here. Now scroll down till you find here auto optimization and enable auto restart to restart when needed. I don't really, you don't really need a restart on schedule, but uh, you can enable the restart on schedule and set it on each day, uh, for example, 3 a.m. But I think the restart when needed is the best option because your phone on, will only be restarted when the screen is off and the phone isn't being used, the battery is above 30% and the SIM card log is off. 
and that's how it works if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to our channel liking this video and if you have some drawbacks or uh, questions uh, tell me in the comments below and that's it hope it helps you and goodbye